So for the batik, you know that batik is a resist method of dyeing where candle wax is used to paint the area you want to remain white and then the rest of the fabric is dyed and you know you have to use hot wax. So this is my design. And this is the area I will apply my wax. Okay, so what you're going to do, you are going to use a hot wax. So what I did, I just melted the wax here in this little container. And I just placed it in some hot water. Okay, and then I'm going to wax the area now. Remember you're waxing the area that you want to remain white. And remember that you need to prepare your prepare your fabric. You wash your fabric, iron it. And you continue this process. Okay, so I'm through applying my wax. I'm now going to add this to my cold water dye bath. And remember the bath, it has to be cold water to prevent the wax from melting. So this is our turmeric that I'll be blending, then strain, and this is what I'll be using to make my dye bath. Okay, so I'll be straining my turmeric. Then I will be adding salt and vinegar. And this is a small container. So I will be adding one tablespoon of salt and quarter cup of vinegar. And this is to allow the dye to be fixed in the fabric. Okay. Once you remove from the water, the dye bath, you are going to place under running water until the water is clear. Okay, so what we'll be doing now with our batik design, we are going to iron to get rid of this stiffness, which is the wax that was applied here. So what you can do, you can put it between newspapers or paper to... To soften that wax and to remove it from the fabric. Okay, and if you realize here, it is coming out. It is being softened. So just continue until you remove all the wax. And this is our finished product of our batik that was dyed in turmeric dye bath.